உங்கள் கல்வி முதற்கண் யூடியூப் சேனல்ல படிப்போம் சிந்திப்போம் எழுதுவோம் ஒரு <laughs> through road side drains that collect rain water roof top rain water harvesting is the process of collecting rain water from roof tops to a storage tank through pipes instead of collecting rain water in tanks we can allow the pipes to go directly to the pit underground this seeps into the soil to recharge or refill the ground water importance of water harvesting what Water collected in tanks could be used for many purposes such as household works irrigation cleaning etc Learn to answer question number 2 What do you understand by water cycle how is this important phenomenon The constant circulation of water from the earth to the atmosphere and back again to the earth is known as water cycle What is the step of water cycle? Evaporation. The process in which water converts into its vapor continuously at any temperature is called evaporation. Condensation. The evaporated water turns to liquid at lower temperature. Most gases turns to liquid if they are cooled sufficiently. Transpiration. All plants re- release water vapor through stomata from their leaves. Cloth formation. Water in the form of vapor goes into air by evaporation and transpiration. Clouds are formed when some water vapor condenses and from tiny droplets of water. Clouds came back to the ground as rain, hail, or snow. Water cycle is an important phenomenon because Evaporation of water gives rise to an air current. Major part of the rain water seeps into the ground. A part of the rain water forms wall water content. Soon after the rain, the rivers are full to the brim. Long answer, question 3. What is potap water? Is rain water potap or water or not? Why? potable water water fit for human consumption is called potable water glaciers are the major source of potable water rain water is rain water is not potable water although it is formed by natural distillation but it contains some impurities such as dust particles dissolved oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide of atmosphere potable water must contain small amounts of mineral salts of sodium calcium and magnesium as they give special taste to water our excess of this mineral can be harmful long answer question 4 what are the different form of natural water what kind of impurity does it contain there are two forms of natural water surface water underground water surface the, water the water that we get on the surface is called surface water it is unfit for drinking because of dissolved salt and the su- and suspended impurities in it different forms of surface water are rain water spring and well water river and lake water sea water underground water a part of rain water gets absorbed by the ground when water reaches non porous layer it cannot sink anywhere this water is known as underground water This is the source of many lakes and wells. It is usually clear and free from suspended particles. It is naturally filtered water as it passes through several layers of gravel and sand. It consists of dissolved salts which are 
generally be beneficial for health thus it thus it is used as potable water learn to answer question